In this short tips and tricks video, we're going to look at the trace bitmap form and in particular we're going to look at the tracing options that we can use. So when we trace something we need to bring in a bitmap. So let's go and import a bitmap for us to trace. I'm going to bring in this shield and press open. Okay, so you can see we've got various colours in here. With that selected, let's now go in to the trace bitmap form. So you can see the first option we have is the type of tracing to use and that's what this uh, tutorial focuses on, just this top half of the form here. So we have the option to use colour or we have the option to use black and white. Okay, So if we just switch between the two just to quickly familiarise ourselves with what's going on there. So we're going to talk about colour first and then we'll move on to black and white later on in this video. So the colour uses the colours within the image and the black and white pretty much turns the image into a grayscale image. Now as we're working with a coloured image, let's just use the colour option for now. And you can see here that we're now presented with lots of different colours. Now we have a maximum of 16 colours to choose from. And the idea here is to select the colours that you'd like to fit vectors to within your image. So let's quickly show you what I mean. Now I want to create vectors uh, that represent these sort of red stars here. So what I'd do is I'd simply go into the form and just select the red areas here. And you'll notice that they've now changed into a blue colour. And the reason for that is this option here, trace colour. So you can change the colour if you wanted to. So I could go for green, I could go for any colour in here. I'm going to go for blue because I know there's no blue within the actual bitmap itself. And it makes it easier for me to see where the software is going to create a vector. Okay, so this blue area represents where a vector will be fitted to. Okay, and all I do is press preview and if we go in there we can see that a vector has now been created around those red stars because we had the two red options checked here. Now if I wanted to trace more colours I could do that by simply checking more colours here within my uh, palette that's displayed. Now if I wanted all of the black areas then I'll just simply press the black option here and you can see now that we've got blue uh, representing all of the areas that are black within that image. I could just go ahead and press preview. Okay, so you'll notice that unless I press apply, it will just update the vectors uh, in the 2D view. So by constantly pressing preview, you can sort of switch between the different colours. So if I wanted to take black off again and press preview, it will just change that again. But if I press apply, then it will keep those vectors in place. Now I also have the option to minimise the amount of colours that are shown using this slider here. So you can see when I bring the slider down, the colours within this palette are being reduced. Okay, So the software will just sort of pull out the main colours like so. For instance, I could take that all the way down to two and it'll just simply give us two different colours. So we've got this sort of black and then this sort of uh, beigey colour in the background. And if I press the black option, it will just pull out all of the black areas within that image. And if I preview that, you can see it's created a vector that represents just those black areas. So reducing the threshold just makes it easier for us to pull out more general shapes. So let's go and try that with black and white. So let's have a look at the black and white options. So this will simply turn it into a grayscale image. And you'll notice we don't have a colour palette here. However, we have this slider where we can increase the number of colours in here, or we can sort of minimise that. And you can see how it's changing there in the 2D view. And then again, just like before, we can just preview those until we're happy with what we've got there. Okay, so let's just close that down. And I'm just going to take that image there, I'm just going to delete that. We'll just bring in another image. So let's bring in the teddy bear and we'll just increase the size of that. Okay, so we've got a black and white image here. Let's go back into the trace bitmap form. And so we can use the black and white option as we're working with black and white image. Simply just increase or decrease the amount of colours shown in there. We could use the colour option and that will simply just pull out all the shades of grey which we could just go in there and select however many colours we wanted. Preview that, press apply, close that form down we can see our vectors here. And if we take a closer look you can see it will probably need to go in there and edit those vectors if we wanted to make more smooth shapes. 
And so that concludes this short video on the types of tracing to use within the trace bitmap form. Thank you for watching.